Good morning from the Hyatt at the Orlando airport. We are off on an adventure. It's 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's super early. <laughs> yeah. So Disney invited us on a ridiculous trip. We are going to Disneyland to do a Adventures by Disney Southern California escape. Then we're going on a Disney cruise down to Mexico and back. Then we're flying out to Hawaii and going to Alani. So let's do it. We are headed to the airplane right now. Mm -hmm. Crazy early. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah. We're on the, the, the monorail. Well, I've been to be just this, one is, I think this one is less scary than the one at this show. Well, because you can have like a walkway right next to us and we're like 10 feet off the ground. Yeah. What is this? It's like four or eight feet off the ground. It's huge. Even longer line than TSA is the line to get into Starbucks. <laughs> All right, you got a touch of the plane. <laughs> Me too. And away we go. up the plane your song the butterflies fly away not in your head like yeah slapfish slapfish there's a, a guy that's helping us out yeah I, I believe that this is all part of adventures by disney like you just show up at the airport and somebody picks you up and takes you to grand californian the driver has a really fancy car look i can control the volume from the back seat <laughs> we have made it to our destination at the grand californian we walk into grand californian and what's playing Potato land! Potato land! So we have arrived at the Grand Californian. So this is the hotel that is included with the Adventures by Disney package that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice! We've stayed here before and I'll link those videos down below so you can see our first stay. Yeah. Um, we loved it. It was fantastic. But because we woke up at 4 a.m. and our flight was at 6, yeah. it's like 10 o'clock in the morning here. So rooms are not ready. We gotta get some breakfast and uh, we can go into the park. Yeah. They gave us some fast passes. So let's make the most of it. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, look, we can call this one Downtown Disney because it is Downtown Disney. Do you think they'll change the name? Do I think they did or will? Well, why are we oh, going I don't know. Because I wanted to show you the goofy egg up there because there is an Easter egg hunt all through Downtown Disney and Disneyland and DCA, three different Easter egg hunts. We were just at the Whitewater Cafe and we met one of you guys and you said you were going to do this today, oh, which yeah. inspired us to take a look at it as well. We didn't know they were doing it. Yeah, so now you guys know that's where the Goofy is. No, I'm cheating. I don't, I don't know what restaurant this is, but it's at the top of it. There's the sign for it. Look, there's one inside of Sephora. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah. Since the last time that we've been out here, they moved the bag check. It's so much nicer. Yeah, it used to be right there. Now, because we're at the Grand Californian, it's just right in the Grand Californian. You just pop through and then you're in downtown Disney, done with your bag check. I think that that really um, justifies part of the high price. Oh yeah. Honestly, like... I hope staying at the Grand Californian. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's a higher price than Disneyland Hotel, I think, right? Yeah, but there's also a bag check now probably for Disney. Oh, well, no, I think you I probably think have to go through the regular yeah. bag check for that one. So that's actually really nice. Interesting. Yeah. That Guardians of the Galaxy Tower does not stick out at all. Hey, Jen. Monorail! <laughs> that was the 90 years of Mickey Monorail. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. I, I'm so happy. You guys, we haven't been here in a year. Like, yeah. it's literally been a year. This feels so good. It feels good. It's also very nice outside. Yeah, this feels real. It feels good inside and outside. Yeah. <laughs> Disneyland! So we've got three fast passes. Should we use them on Small World? <laughs> All three of them? Yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Small World out here. That's what you do at Disneyland, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go, the big reveal. Here it, oh man, it's being refurbished. Oh, I forgot. What the heck? Also, it's tiny still. Well, I mean, they're <laughs> not changing the size of it. What if they are? Not, are they? No. Hey, Walt Disney World, why don't we have these signs everywhere? Because they're amazing. Quick question coming from Walt Disney World, where is everybody? Why is there nobody in this park? I am kind of like shocked at the crowd level. Right? Is it 
Maybe it's off season here. I don't know. It is a weekday, isn't it? I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Did you know that there's a basketball court inside of the Matterhorn? Is that true? Yeah. No, I know it's true. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, it is true. Yeah, every time we come to Disneyland, we have to ride Alice in Wonderland because this is the first ride we ever rode here. We are headed into Wonderland, down the rabbit hole. Ooh. Uh, Rabbit. Oh. <laughs> Wait! Please! It went this way. No, no, that way. Butterflies. Who are you? Oh! I'm not sure where I am either. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, it changed red. No. That was pretty neat. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Off with our heads. Go towards the light. Come on, camera. I believe in you. Whee! So those screens were all new, right? I don't know, it looked really good. Yeah, it looked awesome. It's really cool that we're like on the roof. Yeah. Oh. We live here now. We live in, oh, oh no we don't. Oh, dang. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, that was the end of it. Do come back. Now you hear? Ride number one. Complete. I think that this will always be. Oh, I think I already said it. <laughs> yeah, you can say it now. First ride we ever rode at Disneyland the first time that we yeah. came. So it has a lot of like special meaning. Sentimental. Yeah. So here's the thing when we come to Disneyland, we like to go on dark rides because they have different dark rides than we have back home. So really let's go on Mr. Toad's. We used to have Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at Walt Disney World, but they took it out and it has been replaced with the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Where do you want to go today, Jen? Yeah. We're going to be riding in McBadger. Angus McBadger to be exact. We're, oh no, we're in the library. Watch out, Badger. Oh, we're in the fireplace now. Oh jeez. Oh no, watch out for that suit of armor. Oh no! I'm so lost, it's so dark. Can't see anything. Watch out! You stop! Oh no, the police! Oh. Yes, they're gonna arrest us. Oh no, we're guilty. Alright, now we die because we got hit by a train. And... We're dead? Oh, this is frightening. This is where the ride stopped. Hey, that's the guy that said we were guilty. Ah! Oh, but we're good. Don't worry. Totally fine. Didn't die. Made it out alive. We're good. Hook is stealing a small child. He's gonna take you to Neverland and then you'll never grow up, kid. Run away. Can I go? I don't know. We should tell the fairy godmother though, right? She could help, couldn't she? Another dark ride, the scary adventures of Snow White. <laughs> oh no. Both of these cars are called Doc. Yes. What? Is this like Seven Dwarfs Mine Train? Is this a roller coaster? Yeah. Oh dear. Where's the, where's the drop? Ah! There it is. What happened to his musical instrument? Darkness. Uh oh. And a dig, 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 all the do, da, do. I don't know the word. Oh, look, there she is. At least she's not like an ugly old lady. I know that she will. Oh, no! Oh, no, there's skeletons in here? I heard those are real skeletons. That's not true. 
There is one real skull in Disneyland, though. I heard that's not true. I heard it was true. It oh, came from UCLA. How about you see Apple? Okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, no. So, wait. We ate an apple that was poison, and then she gets struck by lightning, and we're done. And they live happily ever after. I feel like that, that had, like, more bang to it. Yeah. Maybe. Speaking of Pirates of the Caribbean, should we head over in that direction? We can see Galaxy's Edge on the way to ride pirates? I want to do that, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, if you look through this little crack right here, that's part of Galaxy's Edge. What are, are these pine cones? Yeah. Is this not a pine cone tree? Is it a pine tree? It's a pine tree. I never have seen pine cones like in their natural habitat. I've well, that's not what they look like in Florida. This is a different kind of pine tree. <laughs> also, I think that those are the male versions of them. I don't know. They look weird. Yeah. This is one entrance to Galaxy's Edge down here. Are you not allowed to go over there? We can, but there's just a bunch of teenagers and I'm scared of they're teenagers. All, they're all fighting each other with their lightsabers. Yeah, that's frightening. <laughs> oh yeah, look. The train bridge up there. A little tribute to Nature's Wonderland. This is pretty interesting. This was not open as far back the last time, was it? Yeah, Maybe it was. It was. It oh, okay. But this will be the entrance to Galaxy's Edge. Well, don't you remember when we came last time and that guy was trying to open the door? Oh yeah, he, he was, was just like, like opening the door. <laughs> this is it. This is what it'll look like in the Disneyland park. It's kind of interesting. I do like this little entrance, like this is pretty cool. Yeah. It'll be quite a transition because you got all this like red rock, like sandstone, and then you go into another planet. Well, it's kind of like gray. All the rocks are gray, I think, right? Yeah. All the rocks are gray, and the rocks are gray, and a galaxy's edge. This is not, oh, there it goes. One person waved back at me. Pirates of the Caribbean, a five minute wait. Pirates of the Caribbean. A thrilling adventure cruise through dark, mysterious caverns where dead men tell no tales. I like that. We be sailing the high seas. We are. This is totally different than ours. There's a whole nother scene in this Pirates. There's a hidden Mickey. I don't know if this counts as a hidden Mickey. We're in the rafters up there. Oh no, we're leaving, bye. Down on blue bayou. That's the name of this restaurant, and I sang a song about it. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> We're at the point where the one in Orlando starts now, and we've already gone down two drops. No mermaid. But you see, this guy died, this guy died, this guy died, but he's got a sword in his back, and then this pirate over here trying to navigate the storm is missing his sword. So he thought he made it out unscathed but he didn't so the supposed real skull is the one in the headboard up there i think they debunked that though did they i don't know i could be wrong let me know in the comments down below if it's been debunked as to whether or not that's a real skull or not or if it's been replaced since then maybe it's been replaced no oh he's still alive there she is I'll give you a 20 for the rum. This is my favorite band. They have the harmony of One Direction. <laughs> hey guys, guys, the, the gates open over here. All you guys gotta do is just walk into that part of the cell and you guys can get out. Just, you don't have to worry about the dog. It's open back there. You could, oh dear. I tried to help. This is the next new craze. This is Pirate's Pilate. Excuse me, Mr. Parrot. I'd hate to tell you this, but earlier on in the ride, one of the pirates was threatening to send those hens to Davy Jones' locker. I don't think any bird is safe. Oh, this is a, uh, this is a pretty cool Haunted Mansion shirt. It's um, really soft. It feels like a um, pajamas. $34.99. Do they sell these pants? I don't think so. I think well, that those are I, ghost host pants. I just want these pants. Oh, I think you have to get a job here. <laughs> hey, Jen. Hey, Tim. Our room is ready. Oh, I'm so excited. I just yeah. want to sleep for like a minute. And we need to take a shower too. That didn't happen today. Yeah. Uh, well, don't tell our secrets. <laughs> this all looks brand new because it is. This was the Aladdin place? Yeah. Now it's the tropical hideaway. This is the tropical hideaway. So this is where everybody was getting the something special here, right? Yeah, the I think there's an 
No, I think this is a new Dole Whip or something over here. Oh, okay. They left the Aladdin carpet here though. It's the loaded Dole Whip. Well, and you oh, can get in the bow. And the Sweet Lumpia. Sweet Lumpia! Here's the thing, we have this in Pandora and it's not that great. Yeah, it falls apart. It's like a goofy parade. I like that. He's just find, trying to find a good spot to take some photos. Oh, his vest is like... Oh. It's made of confetti. Oh, confetti. Because he's celebrating Mickey and Minnie's birthday. I love it. Wow. Monorail going real fast. Is it faster than ours? Uh, no, ours is fast, but ours goes fast away from the parks. Oh, okay. So as a consequence of us waking up at four in the morning this morning and getting on a plane and flying out here, when I said let's go back and get to the hotel room, I fully intended on doing like a room tour before we got all set up and then we got into the room and it was like crash time. So we took a quick nap, quick shower, now we're back. We will do a room tour at some point during like during our stay here, probably tomorrow. So right now we're getting ready to go to the Adventures by Disney introductory dinner where we get to meet all of the rest of the travelers on this adventure. So we are headed back into the park. We just kind of like met up with our group and everything. We're walking over with them. Something that they told us about Adventures that by Disney that I thought was really interesting is that every single day that you're on an Adventures by Disney trip, you get a special pin that correlates to that day's activities. Right. And they were saying that all of the pins are different for different um, adventures. Right. So if you were to go to like the um, the Adventures by Disney where they go to China, like your pin set's gonna be totally different than the one that we're getting. It's just like a really neat extra that I didn't know was a part of it, so it's pretty cool. I also like that we're walking into Disneyland to the Soren theme. <laughs> I feel so regal. Back into Disneyland. Oh, it feels good in here. Headed back down Main Street, headed over to Cafe Orleans for dinner. They're getting set up for Fantasmic over there. We're going through a fairly empty park. Not a lot of people in here right now. Here we are in New Orleans Square, getting ready to eat at Cafe Orleans. Here's a look at the menu for Cafe Orleans. And the way that it works is with this Adventures by Disney, because dinner is included tonight, you get one starter, one entree, and one dessert which they haven't even brought us out the dessert menu yet. They also had this specials menu, and one of the things that's on it is what I ordered, the fried chicken and French donuts. Really? There are a few desserts on this one too. No. But yeah, this was not on the regular menu that I just showed you guys, so I decided to order it. Okay, I didn't realize that the French fries, the palm frites that we ordered were such a large portion. This is supposed to be the appetizer. Oh, um, also, I ordered one. <laughs> yeah, we totally could have shared this. Right. Here's what I got. This is the chicken and they called it donuts, but they look like beignets. And then more, more french fries. I don't know what this chocolatey stuff is on top, but it looks amazing. And then what did you get? I got the, I forgot what it's called, the honey chicken. Honey bourbon chicken? Yeah. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty healthy. I don't under, I don't know what this is. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, it's supposed to be red beans and uh, black-eyed peas and rice. Okay. Well, we'll give okay. it a try. So one of the desserts that they brought the over is online. some Mickey Mouse beignets. Look at his little hands. Take away your buttons. And the little buttons and everything. This is adorable. They got the lemon sponge cake. This looks pretty good. So we just finished with dinner. What did you think of your dinner? I liked it. It was a lot of food, so I didn't eat all my food. And I thought, so the chicken was a honey bourbon chicken, but I didn't taste the honey or the bourbon. It, I tasted the honey one because I had a little bite of yours. Did you taste? I didn't eat the skin, so maybe it was just on the skin. Right. Um, but it was, sorry, I'm like totally burping right now. <laughs> um, but it was good. It was like, it wasn't dry or anything. It was good chicken. It came with Brussels sprouts, and I liked that. The rice that was under it was so spicy. Oh, yeah? So I actually didn't eat any of the rice. Um, it was just too spicy, but it, but it was pretty good, yeah. And then I had the french fries, which were good. The oh, palm yeah, frites. they were good. And then I had the beignets and there was, they call it a donut and chicken sandwich. But it was like buffalo chicken. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. Like ridiculously good. The sweet went with the spicy so well. It, it looked gross. Yeah. Like it did not look good. But I'm glad it was good. Yeah, it was ridiculously good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then for dessert, I had the lemon 
It looked like a king cake, like yeah. a little rolled up. It was like a lemon sponge cake. It was really good. I got the sorbet because I was trying to do like just something lighter and it was a pear sorbet and it was really good. It was a nice ending to like kind of a heavy meal. Yeah, so we're gonna head back to the hotel, yeah. but we will see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Hi, I'm Maureen from Valencia, California. Now it's time to pay the price.